In this video, I'm going to be going over how to wipe data off of an old laptop like these guys here so that it is virtually impossible for someone to read any data that was on the laptop earlier. And because I have three laptops here, I'm going to be using three different methods to wipe data. The best method to use to wipe an old laptop depends on the condition a laptop's in, what you want to do with the laptop in the future, and what tools and other hardware you have already to use. And since I'm going over three methods, likely one of those will work for your use case. These methods differ from just pressing delete in your OS because pressing delete in your OS just removes the pointer to the file. It doesn't delete any of the actual data on the disk. If you just click delete on a file in the OS, it is often relatively easy to get those files back using free recovery tools out there. Whereas if you actually overwrite the file, it is almost impossible to get that data back. Another thing to note is the Windows password, or most OS's, the login password is not really secure against keeping people from accessing the files if they have your hard drive. It keeps you from logging in, but if you can have access to the actual hard drive, you can just copy the data off of it. So setting a secure Windows password does not keep someone who has physical access to your laptop from getting the data that's on that hard drive. One other recommendation if you're setting up a new laptop or already have a working one, is to just encrypt your data using a trusted program like BitLocker, FileVault on Mac OS, or Lux in Linux. And if set up correctly, these are almost impossible to bypass. And I'd say you don't even really need to wipe the data for most circumstances, as people just can't get past the encryption. Encryption is also great to use on a lot of newer laptops, where it is much harder to pull out the actual storage from the system, whereas older laptops like these, it is easy to pull out a hard drive. Now let's take a look at the first method to wipe data off of a laptop, physical destruction. The advantages of this method is it's relatively easy, it is fairly quick and only takes about five minutes, and it doesn't need the laptop to be running. So if your laptop won't boot or something, you can still physically destroy the hard drive and know that the data is virtually impossible to be accessed. The big disadvantage to me is that if you have a working hard drive, you've now destroyed it, so it can't be reused. So if you want someone else to be able to reuse the laptop, this probably isn't the way to go. In order to physically destroy the hard drive, you first have to find the hard drive. Some laptops, like these Dell ones, make it pretty easy and put a little like hard drive logo near where it is, and you just need to take out a couple of screws and the drive will just slide out. Whereas some models make it a bit harder, so you have to almost fully take apart the case. Luckily, there's a guide for almost every laptop, so if you Google laptop model and then hard drive removal or replacement, there's normally a guide. Even without a guide, if you can take the bottom or top case off the laptop, it's pretty easy to spot the hard drive. Once the hard drive is removed from the system, I like to place it into a plastic bag to keep any potential parts that could fall off to stay in the bag, and then I give it a few whacks with a hammer where the platters are. Normally there's some circular marks near it. And once the drive is dented, the hard drive internals are going to be all mangled up and basically impossible. And since those platters aren't flat and intact anymore, there's no real way to read the data from these drives ever again. And since all the personal data on the laptop is on the hard drive, the rest of the laptop doesn't have any important data on it and can be just e-wasted or gotten rid of, and the hard drive can just be tossed in its little baggie into an e-waste or safe disposal system. The next method I'm going to look at for wiping a hard drive on a laptop is D-Band and other bootable drive wiping utilities. These utilities work by putting an OS on a USB, selecting it in the boot menu, and then they'll run a little utility in that OS that wipes the drive. And typically these OS's are quite bare bones with only enough code to wipe the drive and nothing else. So they're not like a full OS like Windows or like Ubuntu Linux would be. One of the advantages of this method is you don't have to take the laptop apart to wipe the data. So you can leave the laptop fully intact hardware-wise, which is great for if you have a laptop that you can't take apart because it's just a pain or you don't have the tools on you, or if your laptop doesn't have replaceable storage, like some new laptops have soldered on storage. The disadvantages of this method is it requires the laptop to be fully functional to use this method, and you have to also have to have a power adapter or working battery for it to work. It can also take quite a while, up to about 10 hours, and the laptop has to be only wiping for those whole 10 hours. In order to complete this method, my favorite way is using D-Band. D-Band is a piece of software that's used to wipe hard drives. It is a very lightweight Linux gesture that that's its only goal to wipe hard drives. There's other software that's designed for SSDs that can use their secure erase method, but I'm going to be just looking at hard drives today. In order to get D-Band, they have a download page here and you can scroll down and download the free version. They have a paid version that does SSDs and other like certificates to prove the data is wiped, but that's not needed for like a personal laptop here. I then like to use a tool like Ruffus to put it onto a USB stick. So I put the USB stick in the computer, 
And then in RefS, I select my downloaded D-band ISO to be put on it. And since D-band is super small, it might just take just a minute to put it on the USB. Then I put the USB stick into the laptop and select it in the boot menu. On these Dell laptops, it's F12, but it's typically one of the F keys or escape to open the boot menu. And then you can select a USB storage device to boot from. D-band will then bring you to a boot menu that can select your options. I just like to use the auto nuke option for wiping laptops. It does a three pass wipe and it takes about 10 hours for a typical laptop hard drive in my experience. And it also just fully wipes all the hard drives attached to the system so you don't have to worry about selecting which drives. If it's a working hard drive in the laptop, it will be wiped. The last method I'm going to take a look at today to wipe a laptop is by putting the hard drive in another computer to wipe it. This will work similar to the previous method where it is being wiped in software and takes a while, but instead of using the laptop's internals and guts to do it, it will be using another desktop or system to do so. The advantages of this method is it's great if you want to reuse the hard drive or sell the hard drive later, as you'll have to do many of these same steps anyways if you want to resell it or reuse the drive. The disadvantages of this method is that the drive has to be functional in order to be wiped by software. You have to have another computer that is available to wipe it with normally a SATA connection to plug the drive into, and that computer has to be able to be ran for about 10 hours to do the full wipe on the drive. In order to complete this method, you first need to remove the hard drive from the system. This will be the same method used in the first time where it was being removed for destruction. The next thing is the hard drive would have to be plugged into another system for wiping. I like to have an extra system laying around just for this purpose to wipe and test hard drives, but if you have a normal desktop, there's often an extra SATA power and SATA data cable left inside. You can also use like a USB enclosure and plug it into that and then plug that into a USB port on the computer. And then you'll need to use a tool in the computer to wipe all the data. Doing just a normal format won't actually wipe the data and just delete the file system info and it's relatively easy to get that data back. If you want to do a full wipe, one easy way included in Windows is to do a disk part clean and use the clean all command. Make sure clean all is used because clean all will actually wipe it with zeros whereas a traditional clean will just delete the partition table info. On Linux, I like to use dd to do a wipe and just copy data from slash dev slash zero onto the slash dev slash sda or whatever the drive is called. Once the disk part clean all command or dd command in Linux is finished, the drive is wiped and ready to be reused or resold. To prove these methods actually work, I took a drive that I had wiped that previously had data in it and plugged it into a system. First of all, it doesn't actually show up with any mountable partitions at all in Windows, so the super easy way of getting data won't get anything. I then tried using a few drive data recovery tools that are actually read every sector on the drive and try to match it with like a potential file type. And these can be useful if your partition table is corrupted or something else where you don't actually have full access to a working file system. So after using these methods, none of them showed any data on the drive. A single drive wipe is more than plenty for almost all drive wiping today, and if you have major threats that might use extreme tools to try to get the data, I'd always use the physical destruction as it is the hardest to get the data from by far. But NIST, the agency that originally recommended the three wipe or seven wipe things, has since said a single wipe is now fine, and I have yet to see any way that a modern drive has gotten data recovered after a single wipe. Thanks for watching this video going over how to wipe a drive in a laptop, and let me know if you have any thoughts or questions in the comments.